Well, speaking of tech, in the age of texting and social media, phone etiquette is pretty rare, and that's where our next guest comes in. Yes, she does. Mary Jane Copps is known as the phone lady, and her entire business centers around teaching Gen Z and millennials and beyond how to talk on the phone. Mary Jane joins us now with her tips. And listen, I do not begrudge you what you do. I'm sure it's important. I just don't understand why it's necessary. So look, fill us in on this. Well, certainly there are lots of uh, careers, jobs out there that still involve talking on the phone, being proactive on the phone, making outbound calls to clients. And there's certainly a large segment of the business world that relies on customer service on the phone. So all of those companies are looking for help in terms of their teams and helping them communicate more effectively on the phone. So interesting that this could be a skill set necessary for business school or to survive in the mm -hmm. business world. Here are some of your tips. You say start by calling people you know to practice. Try no texting for an entire weekend mm -hmm. and use a magazine for body language cues. So how did you come up with these three topics and also how did you know this was a big enough problem that you could turn it into a business? Well the phone lady's been in business for 17 years and I certainly didn't start out um, working to solve phone phobia but in the last eight or nine years it became evident that that is what the client base wanted. I would get calls from CEOs and so on asking me to help them with their staff who were hesitating and anxiety ridden about making phone calls. So, Mary, so then I go ahead. Go ahead. No, no. So then I have to step back and come up with some ways to help them. And especially with startups with young founders who needed to speak to their prospective markets on the phone, for example, uh, one way was definitely to get them to stop texting for 48 hours. <laughs> So it, it, Mary Jane, what I want help with, though, is I have a 17-year-old, and so I've tried to no avail to teach her that when this rings and makes that noise, I'm on the other <laughs> end to answer uh, this device, and I haven't had a lot of success. How do I break through? Well, I think it's harder when you're the parent <laughs> wanting your child to take your phone call as opposed to when it's a career move when yeah. it's a job market or for someone very young when it's a, an interview for a job so one of the things i do with lots of not-for-profits and colleges is i will go in and work with a classroom preparing them to talk on the phone to potential employers yeah i think what you're talking about is communication the the avenue is a phone call but really being comfortable communicating and i think that has a lot to do with self-confidence and just i think there's a lot of interpersonal communication we don't do anymore so uh well absolutely i mean what we're doing here is, even though we've all prepared for this interview in some cases we're riffing off each other we're doing it in the moment and that's a skill and when you're texting and emailing you have time to think about what you're going to yeah. say next well, mary jane cobbs thank you for saying that we're skilled we appreciate the help <laughs> and if you need help or to learn more go to thephonelady.com thank you so much